Uh, so we stopped at around uh, this uh, part of uh, XML. I just explained you guys a little bit on HTML. Uh, you guys have a little bit of idea of HTML, what is HTML is. And uh, I just give you a little bit of code snippet what HTML do, uh, does for you. It actually has a header, has a body, is very well formed. So just like you open up a bracket, you close a bracket and everything like that. So you have a, a very, it's a very well-organized programming part for you. Um, coming back to our XML and these, uh, these uh, different terminologies, which you will hear, which you probably haven't heard in the past, XML sitemap. So sitemap is just like I, as I was mentioning as yesterday, it is just like an organization of your files in particular structure format. We call it hierarchy in database, but basically they are um, they are just a folders. They are mere folders, how you are organizing things. Um, <clears throat> writing and editing meta description. If I'll not show you what is meta description, you will probably be wondering what is meta description. So I will show you the example of meta description as well. But what is meta description? Again, it goes in your HTML file. It goes on, on your web page, right? And when I call HTML file or when I call it web, web page or a website, all three are, uh, are the same thing because they are uh, the, the essence of it is written in HTML. Hey guys, don't shout. So meta description, I'm going to show you that, but essentially meta description or meta tag is the, is the HTML tag, which you will see for, for you guys, I have stored some examples of it. And again, you don't need to learn that, but when you are talking to a web developer, you have some knowledge that you are imparting on him saying that I'm not dumb. I'm coming with some knowledge and I, I know what is meta tags are. So if I'll just uh, quickly show you, actually, if I'll open up my Google and I'll just say meta description tags and Best way to learn, like if you are not aware of what is what it is talking about in HTML, your first line of uh, defense will be W3 schools. What is that? Uh, which because it's a, it's a it's a pioneer of uh, HTML. And if you don't understand from there as well, you can always Google that. But you can always look at the image because here they might be exam uh, showing you the exam. Uh, the uh, the implementation of it and going into the uh, ABCs of it. You don't need to go there. You just can check it with the picture. So let's say this is just it is showing how it is going to look like. But here it is. It is actually if you click on this one, this picture. Look at this. This is nothing new. Forget about all the other things because header I mentioned yesterday. I mentioned uh, body and uh, h1 and all those these are different tags and you don't need to understand every different tag out there in html which i don't even know sometimes you know i i always go on html on w3 schools and if i don't know i quickly open in front of a student never mean shy of it and open it and just read the one line description of it it says it does this and then you can see what you get what you see is what you get or try it yourself and you can see that so what meta, name, meta description is doing, you start with the meta name and you put a description and the content is the keyword that you are going to put. What is this keyword? Meaning that you are saying that check any website page or broken link in seconds. So everything, this is a very general one, but let's look at these ones. Description, my web page description, 160 character long. Nothing is too different. As you're seeing, meta name is here, description tag is here, and you can put, you can jot down all the possible popular keywords that you think for your website in there. 
particularly in in the good order that's fine uh it i don't think so there is a limit to it but it is saying here from the description here that my web page description 160 character long so they seems like they are trying to limit that you are not putting every single word out there in the world or dictionary in here you should be just putting some kind of a limit so i'm not sure about that web developer will be able to elaborate more about it or you can find it on a quick google search but meta name description is where is the place where you will put all the possible uh keywords that you want google to crawl into to search you okay uh let's look at a few more examples check any website if i click on this one uh, i don't want the blurry ones but i want and you said, Krishan, it was the meta name or the meta tag, the meta name, right? Meta name, meta name. I'm just looking for some other good example. Meta name. Maybe I'll just put a bit more description tag or something if it brings it. Okay, go. Let's pick up this meta name keywords or meta name description or whatever you want to put. You can put all these different uh keywords in here you can put some description in here you know whatever you want to put exactly between the headers tag in the headers tag remember the small html that i showed you yesterday there was a header tag and the body tag in between the header tag you can put all your metas metas name and there's no reluctancy you can put a meta name description meta name keyword meta name author this is just a name of it the main part which is the meaty part is the content that you want to put in here okay so this this is a is a part uh, that we want to uh, look at while there was no such good example here it was just showing you here but i really wanted to go you to go in the code and show you where it is you will see it, it might not be it will not be showing up here but meta description is the same description that they are showing up here let's say washer and dryer from best buy it's showing that same meta description here just a brief summary of the page what it is all about so the more it match in the google the more google will grab that and from the description and we start to show you here so meta description example three reasons why you need to ma maintain or uh, you need a meta data description a meta description increase the knowledge of the click through rates and visits from the organic search uh, and by organic search mean any normal search that you do on google there was another one called paid search which was paid for but this is just how you do this or how i can find a washer and dryer in red deer then it will take you there but metadata description will increase the click through rate a meta description gives the right people the right information at the right time and meta description increase the visits from social so even other social media websites who are propagating certain things will do that and that's what you do like if you are a tiktoker which i'm not i hate that <laughs> if you are uh uh if you are a YouTuber, you want to put some uh, tags there, but you know, the, all the social media platform, I know, I, I don't know, like I, I just uh, get sometime amazed by this digital marketing that how a 16 year old who is just dancing gets so much popularity where certain singer have spent their 10 years to get similar amount of popularity. It's just so crazy to me. like. I've never listened to those uh, uh, one shot guys. <laughs> yeah, that's mind blowing. Uh, <laughs> I'm working hard. I'm working for 15 years to earn to that level. And then uh, a lady comes up and jumps here and there and then makes that much money. Okay. Oh, crazy. Okay. Which links does, uh, which links do most people click? The one that has uh, more people click with the number one result in the serve the number one organic result is 10 times more likely to receive the click compared to the page in, in 10 different spots let's start with something um, 
advanced search. Sometimes we uh, search something on the internet and we are not getting our desired result. Then what you do, you, you go specifically that you emphasize that I don't want all these other websites or I want, I don't want to miss this part in the search. So what does that mean? So let's see if I open up my phone here. And here, if I just say, uh, who wants to be a millionaire? We always search this and we can find that, right? Who wants to be a millionaire? But if I want to search, no, I want something specifically that I don't want to miss. Millionaire but it can bring me some results from it can bring me see it is very very specific about making me a millionaire not billionaire but <laughs> if i say who wants to be a millionaire billionaire and you want this specific word i just don't want to make a spelling mistake and i want to search that don't miss out on this word so it will search for only it will ignore all the results from millionaire it will just search for anything that is billionaire right so you are emphasizing that i want this word don't ignore this i don't want all the other uh, different searches that you are giving me for a millionaire so that's why advanced search is being here so you can try out using the code that explicitly that i want this you can use a minus sign and saying that I don't want in the search, I don't want. Did I close my window? Yeah. And you can trim out something on again on Google if I go there. Who wants to be a billionaire? My, and then you can emphasize on this billionaire and then subtract millionaire. So, so it will never ever even bring a single search result that has a million millionaire because you subtracted that. So it's kind of a little bit of programming involved in it. You're just saying, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. You know, so these are some advances so you can play in and play out of this uh, with these ser different searches. Uh, meta description again is the chance to convey. So it is just a haphazard topic came back again, but meta description be informative. So if you have the knowledge of meta description now and meta knowledge, you can read through these slides. And that's why I will run through some of the slides because I have some other topics to cover. Focus on one unique, one or two unique keywords in the meta description of each page. So if you're a starter, at least you have the meta description in there. Uh, at least a couple of keywords. And later on, when you think that I need this, or I have just came to know that my competitor is using this keyword, maybe just do that as well, what the competitors are using. Aim for 155 to 160 character. And remember that slide that I, that was coming up that was just limiting to 160 characters. So I think that that's what they're saying. This should be your bank mask that you are not exceeding. It will be cut off. It is too long. It will not take that after 160 characters. Avoid using special characters like pluses and minuses in those. So pretty simple. Writing descriptive link text. Okay. Yeah. Very easy. I will go straight to the meat again. Example will be make make you easy to learn. Sometimes for us, we it is easier for us to just write click here. But what if if I will just write 
what I'm aiming for, web optimization. You know, you are standing on the page of web, uh, web optimization. If you just even make sure, if you are just making sure that you are typing uh, website optimization and then click here, instead of doing that, why not just remove the click here part of it and put a hyperlink underneath and then it will make more, more sense. So now if you read it in this context, it will make more sense. So in HTML, how would you remove that? Very easy to do. This, again, I don't want you to learn, but you see, what you see is what you get. So bottom part is the code, upper portion is the uh, implementation or the what you see part, or what you are seeing the front part. Uh, if, uh, if you need to put a hyperlink on your website, you can see that uh, the hyperlink can be put using this code, very small piece of code, A, href equals to this part, this link that you want to redirect you, redirect, and then you can place a click here. But click here wasn't too user friendly. So what they have made is that uh, put the same thing, learn more about website optimization. And here they put the website optimization here and then comes as this. So if you want, on W3 schools, you can just go there and say how to create a hyperlink. Just Google that, how to create a hyperlink, W3 schools example. It will take you to right to that page that how can you create a hyperlink. And there you can put any hyperlink. You can have put a hyperlink to your video or your graphics or your picture that it is. Make sure that the picture or the link is a public link, is a, pu is a public picture not a private picture but public it means if it is on your google drive or it's on your uh, private cloud or on your dropbox it is your private data your private picture you need to make it or expose it to the outside world so you will put it somewhere on the outside repository of pictures so that it will be available if it is in your dropbox somebody will click on that link it will not let them view that picture. You know why? Or not able to access that picture because it has to bypass that user credentials to show that picture. So that is why when you see the links, the links are always, uh, I will show you in Microsoft Teams actually will be a good example. I have Microsoft Teams. I'm sure you that. So, Let's say I prepared a lecture today, office hours, right? This is Microsoft Teams example, but any, this could be anyone. So when I click here, uh, actually I'll go here on my OneDrive, on my recordings. This is recordings of one of my lectures. Let's say if I click here and say copy link. So the link, when you create the links on Microsoft Teams, just, just to give you an idea, I'm not, asking you to learn anything, I'm just giving you an idea. When you click here, people with the existing link, uh, with an existing access can open this link. If I click on this one, it gives a little bit more flexibility. People with the existing link, people who I choose can open this link only, right? People with the link which I will provide will be able to open that. People within this organization will be able to open that or this link is the one meaning that anyone whether it's in a, uh, whether in this college or outside college or anyone if they get hack of this link they will have access to that video they can they can edit that video they can delete that video which you don't want right so you we will not have restriction on that but uh, anyone is the one with the public link so when i talk about the href link i don't i want to come back to it so the links when you will see will always be a public link or a private link. Private links are good if you just, if you want to share it with certain people or certain amount of people, public links will be available to all of the world. So we actually use GitHub in our like GitHub. And then, yeah. so it makes sense what you're saying. It all kind of makes sense now. Yeah, yeah, As a, a very good example. I'm coming to, as an assignment, I will be coming to my YouTube channel 
and who you i want you guys to give me suggestion as an assignment to how to improve my crappy youtube channel because i don't have time and i am teaching two to three colleges and all i can do is just deliver lecture and get tired so when i will show you guys my youtube channel give me some recommendation how how i can improve that and that could be one of the assignment how about that is right so i will take assignments from all all of you guys from and then i will give you one other assignment to choose from but you can take my youtube channel as a uh, guinea pig and improve that uh, i have i i i get dedication and then and then i i get uh, i lose that and then i i start again and same to my kid so i will give you some uh, you can give me some recommendation uh, doris if you have any questions i see you posted hello no 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 i i just say hello back to uh, uh to everyone okay uh, yeah sorry okay <laughs> no worries <laughs> So I will show you my YouTube channel. I I do whatever I do in my limited time, half an hour, forty five minutes, what I get. But I I'm certainly lagging behind in my views. I am, I'm an I'm sometimes introvert and not post my links to which is which is a which is a which is bad to be in this uh, social media world. I know that, but uh, I, if I want to. increase my viewing i need to send it to my red dear friends and say hey subscribe to the my channel but at the same time i will feel shy or something that this is another part of me so i have not <laughs> because in classroom i'm totally different and i in 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 with friends and having coffee i'm a totally different person right and they will think what this guy is talking about here so but you should share it with us kashan cuz most of our previous instructors they always yeah. shared like their like pages with us and then we always follow them like you know uh, we had like instagram or like their youtube account our last instructor and then we all and we share it too so then you know our classmates can like follow us and we could get like thing so yeah for sure that would be great okay i'll share that so that's a, uh, that's that's enthusiastic for me i will share my uh, my link to my my youtube channel and also my linkedin profile so you guys can add me on the linkedin as well uh linkedin i don't mind linkedin always uh, uh but for uh, one thing that i want to mention about linkedin uh that uh, uh always spend some time on the job and then post it to your linkedin profile at least 6 months before you Uh, let everybody say hurrah to your new job because you don't want to be in the probation period and post a new job and then get laid off after 6 months and say 3 months and say that oh i lost the job and then it doesn't look good on you so get some experience 6 months and then put it there you are stable there you feel stable and then put out there i will uh, share with you guys my linkedin profile and my youtube channel uh, shortly before i forget actually so you can have it Yeah, I'm curious about it. Okay. I haven't logged in, so I'm just going to log in and so this is my LinkedIn. Um. and you guys are uh right can share with me your uh, you can private message me so after the class i will uh, uh go in individual and look at your content as well I've been uh, wanting to create a LinkedIn for a while. I had one and then it was like I don't use it and then like since the class classes my instructors are like you know you guys need to make a LinkedIn and I I just don't get the time <laughs> I'm wanting to do it. <laughs> yeah, no this course is the one where you can 
you know, spend some time on it and say that, oh, time for self-improvement. Yes, for sure. And this is my YouTube uh, video. You can uh, look at some other videos that I've posted there. But if I'll actually open up my channel. Thank you for sharing. So this is me in another lecture, which I, I was explaining somebody, um, uh, some other class, I was explaining the VLOOKUP functionality in Excel or something. So I, I stripped off. So I put some, like, see, this is, the, this is how much I can put in my description. It's very crappy description in a very small time. Um, uh, I started saying that maybe I'll get some description from chat GPT to help me and fill out that and quickly generate some, but you know, it's sometimes an overkill and I have to edit. So not a lot of views, not a lot of likes and just, you know, uh, I just did it in the April 10th. So almost just nine or 10 days. But the, if you look at my other videos, I have, I've posted some videos, then I don't get views. Then I get, you know, uh, demoralized and don't get more, more posts. So what I can do to improve my, the, my channel could be one of your assignment. And I will see if I can follow your instruction. If you guys have, I, I'm sure you guys have more subscribers than me. And I see law. I just see that like my just friend who just make vlogs and travel within the mall. They get so many subscribers within that much time. And I'm working hard and delivering lectures. And I'm still standing at 11 subscriber. That's, I mean, I don't want to use the bad word here, but that's just, that's just not good for me. Uh, it's just like me, I guess. So yeah, see, I will share it to my, uh, my, my friends after, uh, after the next week or something. But this is really cool, Kashan. This is amazing. Cause like even me, like when I'm studying, like I used to go to like Khan Academy and stuff. So this for sure, like it, your channel is really new, right? So I think the more time, yeah. like people will get to see all this stuff. It's like really good, like very helpful for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. No, I will, uh, I, I will see if I, if I get time, if I get, because I need to do, I not only need to do, uh, delivering lectures, but also do grading. I sometimes feel assistant is missing. or I need to hire somebody under me to do all the grading thing. Uh, so this is what you get. This is the be best quality content that you can get. I don't even get time to make my own. And one thing for search engine optimization, at least for search on YouTube, your thumbnail, right? Your thumbnail does matter. If you don't, if you do a crappy job on your thumbnail or something th that I can tell, what are the shortcomings? I can tell but I want you guys to further identify what are my shortcomings. So you can look at my channel and give me some recommendation, please. That will be nice. And that could be a good assignment for you. How about that for an assignment? Okay. Uh, uh, if good. somebody, if somebody else wants to, uh, share their YouTube channel, if you are working and ask other to scrutinize because we are all search engine optimization engineers now, which will be at the end of this course, uh, <laughs> the quote unquote, but you know, you need some experience with that. Why not take your friend's YouTube channel within the class and scrutinize and have a critical eye on that. Give each, each, everyone, each of you guys give a suggestion and I'm the part of it as well. I'm de I'm dictating, I'm becoming the first volunteer for it. So if there is any other volunteer who wants to come forward and say that I want my, my classmates to scrutinize and give me a recommendation. And, you know, for the assignment part, I want at most two to two and a half page or three page maximum of your recommendations. I don't have time to go through 40 pages of your recommendations, very precise recommendations of just like Google does it not more than 160 words and otherwise it will ignore you, right? I'm, I'm, I will be a Google for you guys. I will, uh, if you give me an assignment for, for that many pages, I will probably not read it. Uh, so be precise in your assignment and do that much. And same thing. How many pages again, Kishan? You said one and a half to? One and a half to three pages maximum. For a 40, pa for a 40 
marks assignments that's a bonus right <laughs> for doing nothing uh uh yeah but by that all we need you know social media and these youtube videos has changed my prospect on uh digital marketing as well <laughs> has changed my prospect on on the books back in the days 20 years ago when i was learning computer programming languages i used to go from chapter number 1 to chapter number 30 and finish and by that time i think that oh i have learned this language nowadays if i start to read chapter number 1 to chapter number 30 and my solution does not lie in that book i will need to buy another book where that solution lies or i need to search on some other platform and find that answer which is good and bad it has hit my reading habits of the book because i am not avid book reader anymore uh but uh we also we also we all, i'm sure everybody is affected with that that we also skip and watch youtube videos even though they are most informative videos sometimes that we encounter but we we have lost the temperament of watching a good 20 minute video 